Hi everyone, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have seen when to use constructor injection and when to use setter injection in a spring application. Now the question is, which one is recommended? Well, spring team is recommended to use constructor based dependency injection. Well, here are some of the advantages of using constructor based dependency injection. For example, all required dependencies are available at a initialization time. Well, if we use constructor based dependency injection, then all the required or mandatory dependencies are available at a initialization time. For example, look at the code snippet over here. In a demo class, let us say we want to inject all these dependencies using constructor based dependency injection. Then if you can notice here, all these dependencies are initialized while creating the spring bean of this demo class. So notice here whenever spring container will create object of this demo class, then it will call its constructor and it will inject and initialize all these dependencies. Alright, next let us say you want to inject the dependencies using setter injection. Then you have to create a setter methods for each dependency field like this. And if you look at the number of lines of code over here, in case of constructor injection, we can inject all these dependencies in a single method. But in case of setter injection, we need to write these lines of code like we need to create a setter methods for each dependency field like this. Okay, so this will increase a lot of lines of code over here. Alright, so use constructor injection because we can inject all the required dependencies at an initialization time. Next advantage of constructor injection is immutability and avoid null pointer exception. For example, if you want to make these dependencies as a immutable, then what you can do is you can make these fields final. For example, private final dependency A, private final dependency B, private final dependency C. Alright, so if we use constructor based dependency injection, then we can make these dependency objects as a immutable. But if we use setter injection, then we cannot make these dependency objects as a immutable. You can see here, in case of setter injection, we are getting, you know, compilation error. Alright, the only way to declare immutable dependencies is using constructor injection. You cannot use setter injection or field injection to make, you know, dependencies as a immutable. Alright, so this is one big advantage using constructor injection. And one more advantage is, we can avoid the null checks if we use constructor injection. For example, in case of constructor injection, all the dependencies are injected at an initialization time and we, we are sure that these dependencies are not null because all the dependencies are injected and initialized at a time of creating the spring bean of this class, isn't it? It means we don't have to add a null checks whenever we use these dependencies in this class. Next advantage of using constructor injection is preventing the errors in a test cases. Well, constructor injection simplifies the writing unit test cases. The constructor forces us to provide a valid objects for all the dependencies. Using mocking libraries like Mockito, we can create a mock objects that we can then pass to the constructor. Well, we can also pass the mock objects using setter injection. But let us say if we forget to call the setter method in a test to inject the dependency, then it will potentially cause a null pointer exception in a, you know, J in a test case, isn't it? So constructor injection ensures that our test cases are executed only when all the dependencies are available. It is not possible to have half created objects in a unit test case. That's why constructor injection is recommended in a, you know, unit test cases to inject the dependencies. All right. So these are the, you know, important advantages of using constructor injection. That's why the Spring team, you know, recommended to use constructor based dependency injection. All right. Great. I hope you understood why, you know, Spring team recommended to use constructor based dependency injection. Alright, great. I will see you in the next lecture.